Hey guys, welcome back to Rome Reviews. I'm Rome, and today we're going to be covering the AI companion that comes on the Origin OS uh, Vivo X200 Pro, so the Chinese version of the phone. Uh, it comes with Blue LM Copilot, and I got a couple requests, just people asking me to go over the companion, how it works in the U.S., if it works in the U.S., and so that's what we're here doing today. So let's jump right into it. So right off the bat, I have the campaign open and I'm going to ask it flat out. Can you respond in English? Sure. I'm here to help. What do you need? Nice. Show me the latest news on the Oppo Find in five. So right away, I'll show you that I do have a country accent. Sure Let me stop this. By. I have a country accent, but I will say that the companion seems to want it, it seems to recognize I really hope this doesn't come off the wrong way, but it seems to recognize or want to recognize a a, a native Chinese speaker uh, speaking English, if that makes sense. So that's why I was speaking so slowly because I was trying to get it to recognize what I was saying. I was speaking slowly and I was uh, hitting the hard versions of vowels, like instead of oppo, like you know, and I would say oppo, but I was saying oppo to try to get it to rec recognize because when I say Apple, it recognizes it as Apple. <laughs> so let's just, I'm going to speak regularly. Show me the latest news on the Apple Find N5. So first thing first, you'll notice that it converted Sorry. back to Chinese. So one more time, can you respond in English? Show me the latest news on the Oppo Find N5. <laughs> you see, so, yeah, let's stop, stop. Let's stop everything. So, yes, when I talk fast, and so each time you have to reset it back into your, your language, which is already a, uh, just too much work. You know, most people don't feel comfortable using an AI companion on their phone anyway. So that's another step that's going to make it more. So let's see. Can you respond in English? It's going to say, of course. Sure, I'm here to help. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Show me the latest news on the Oppo Find N5. Or maybe I should have said what is the latest news on the, the but see, it's gonna respond in Chinese again. All right, y'all. Future Rome here. Uh, just want to say that for anybody that may know how to set your default language to your preferred language, do not hesitate to let me know because I just have not found it. So don't chew me out over what I said in the video where you have to prompt it each time to uh respond in english or whatever i just have not found it i've i've been digging and digging and digging and i cannot find it so if you know pop a comment down below and just let me know okay all right back to the video so what i've been doing and i know people are not going to do this it's just it's too much so i'm going to stop generating in there and I'm going to open the global translation and I'm just going to trans. That's what I've been doing. Nobody's going to do that. So that's why I wanted to make a quick video on this. So people wouldn't think that I was avoiding them or not making a video on it because just, just to ignore them or whatever. But people wanted confirmation that the AI model worked or not in the U.S. And it works. But you have to jump through hoops to get it to give you the information that you want where you can understand it. I don't speak Chinese at all. But you can see with the global translation, it does give you information back. 
Um, Oppo officially unveiled its new uh, its new foldable flash of phone, the Oppo Find N5, at the Sky Dome Technology Launch Event in the Marina Bay campus. So it gives you good information when it works. But let's see, uh, let's try one more thing. Like with Gemini, I like to generate pictures. It doesn't do an amazing job unless you put the right prompts in there. But I haven't attempted it with Blue LM yet. So let's try, let's stop the translation. Um, can you... Oh, let's say, uh, since we're doing this for YouTube, can you generate a thumbnail of the... Uh, I, I was talking, but I wasn't typing it. The thumbnail of the X200 Pro for YouTube. Let's see what it does. This is stuff I haven't... Oh, it's doing something. <laughs> it's doing something. So let's see. Oh, interesting. That is not the X200 Pro. <laughs> <laughs> but it does generate a picture. So that was really specific. And I know there are like, um, uh, what's the word? Like trademark copyright stuff that it can't do. So let's uh, generate um, nice scenery. Oh, a nice park scenery with... Um, with a sunny sky. So it does recognize English prompts. I don't know what other languages it recognizes. I'm assuming that it's, it's going to be the same. Any language that it has um, native on the phone that it recognize it, it allows you to set up during your initial configuration of the phone. So that's good. And it does generate decent pictures actually. But you see where it says powered by Blue LM Vivo. So it does put a little tag down there in the corner. Hope you guys can see that. Puts a little tag down there so you can know it was generated. So, I mean, that's fine. So it does work, it, re it recognizes prompts, but here's the issue. Here's my issue with it that I've come across a number of times. Hold on one second. So, if I, I have the Oppo Reno 13 up there. If I do circle to search, and it, it's going to bring back some information, but it's going to be in Chinese. I'm going to stop generating now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pull up my global translation that I use. You see how I closed that window? So, circle to search. The AI, it, it's, it works when you're in the app, when you're inside the app. But if you if you're trying to do circle to search or anything like that, it just becomes clunky and unfriendly. I mean, even if you if let's say you're one of the users kind of like me, where you you just have the patience <laughs> to just do all these extra steps to get the information that you want. Even if I were to try to pull up global translation, it closed the window that I had open for circle to search, so it's just not usable to me. Now I'm I'm pretty sure that it works for, if you speak Chinese, but I don't. As I've said a couple of times, I don't. So, it's just weird. Blue LM is weird if you're trying to use it in the U.S. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I wanted to mention during this video. Circle to search, Blue LM, the button, it works. It brings up the campaign just fine. Um, Yeah, but... And that's another thing that I just kind of gl glazed over or whatever. Circle to search works and the animation is beautiful. I actually like the animation a lot. Um, it highlights well based on what you're trying to search. But yeah, it just is basically useless to me. Uh, which sucks because I feel like it works really well. I mean, it, it pulls back information fairly quickly. Um, Yeah, I just wish... Let's see, uh, doo -doo -doo. let's see, if I were to click the little icon to bring, see, see, I tried to be sneaky <laughs> and pull, <laughs> and pull up my circuit of search results and to, um, to trigger another window. 
but yeah it didn't so i would what i would end up doing is copying let's see let's stop it there and i just copied it and i would have to copy it into a translator or somewhere else but it's just not quick and useful so to answer the question that i've gotten a couple of times in the comments blue lm is use it, it would be much more useful if you spoke chinese but it is useful if you go directly into the app itself and you prompt it each time to speak to you in your preferred language each time <laughs> so it's a hassle i'll say that so to put it nicely it's it's a hassle it's not it's it, <laughs> i'm trying to try to put it nicely I'm, I'm really trying my hardest to put it nicely but i can't i'm just gonna be honest with you guys um it's basically useless in the u.s um yeah it's basically useless now i do have gemini on my phone and i can use it like i would on any other phone but i can't use the circle of search features that come with the you know whether you're using gemini or not you know i can't use the native circle of search that google provides um for samsung and google and blah 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 the pixels and stuff like that even the global versions of the of these phones i just i can't use circular search there i can't type in my prompts and things like that but gemini let's say um tell me what appointments i have for tomorrow let's see if it'll reach into my calendar that i have installed First, you'll need to connect the Google Workspace to turn on extension. So, <laughs> you can set it up to work and it'll dig, it'll dig through your different Google apps, but you have to have them all installed and configured. That's not what this video is on. If you guys want to see how Gemini works on this phone, I can make a video on that for you guys if that's what you want to see. But yeah, Gemini is useful, but Blue LM, actually, let's test that before I lie. I always try to wrap my videos up and then I think of something else. So let's go ahead and open this. What appointments do I have for tomorrow? Let's see if it reaches into the calendar. And I have the Google Calendar says my default calendar app. So let's see if it reaches into it. Oh, let's see. Valentine's Day tomorrow. So, but you, you'll see the icon that it did not reference my Google Calendar. It referenced the native calendar app, even though I have the Google Calendar set as my default <laughs> app. So, um, okay, let's try one more thing. Call. I have no idea what that says. <laughs> so, but it hasn't called who I asked it to call. So, yeah. It, it's, it's, I'll try not to say it, but it's useless. So to wrap this video up, Blue LM is all but useless in the U.S. Um, yeah, short and sweet. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys tuning in. And for more content like this, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Later, guys.